our house runs by solar panel and we um and we co and we use less electricity and and we collect rainwater welcome to green energy futures your guide to the green energy revolution that's already underway Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. We've talked a lot about net zero homes on Green Energy Futures, but what about eco-friendly net zero neighborhoods? That's the idea behind Echo Haven, a neighborhood in Northwest Calgary that does just about everything right, from super energy efficient homes to preserving green space and guaranteeing solar access for residents. It was Martin Peltier who turned us on to this story. Hi, I'm Martin Pelche. I'm portfolio manager and co-founder of an investment firm, Trivest Wealth Council, based here in Calgary. I also do uh, a writing for the Financial Post as a columnist and various speaking engagements on, uh, with a big focus on risk management uh, for, for investing. Great, and that's not what we're here to talk to you about, are we, Martin? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, we're here to have a little more fun than, ex than talking about investing. Well, actually, we're investing in in, in different things such as uh, my family and how we live which right. is the most important for anybody um, when you're considering about uh, uh, how you live your life. Peltier moved into his super energy efficient home with his family in May 2014 and he loves it. And that little moppet off the top, that's Martin's son, Ben Peltier. But with Martin being a former oil and gas guy, you might think that his colleagues would be cracking jokes at the hippie in their midst. My colleagues who I worked with were actually wondering how do they get uh, into this? How do they uh, implement some of these new features into, of my house into their houses? They were very interested in it. So you have oil guys, heavy oil guys, the uh, uh, so-called enemy, uh, enemies of renewables, buying into um, my lifestyle of, and, the, and the options that I have within my house. So what was Peltier buying into? What's so special about Echo Haven? We talked to Dave Spencer, one of the founders of the project. I'm Dave Spencer. I'm with Echo Haven. This was part of my vision. I've been wanting to do this for many, many, many years. And uh, currently, I'm, uh, I live here. It's my residence is in Echo Haven. There are 24 lots a community center and guest house that is a former solar decathlon building, and there are plans for a community greenhouse. At a minimum, the homes have to have an EnerGuide rating of 84, which is extremely energy efficient. There are two net zero homes built and two passive houses under construction. The vision is one that works with nature, harvesting rainwater and solar energy to provide a sustainable home in a green community. Spencer took the idea of the suburban neighborhood and turned it on its ear. The design of the neighborhood really relies on preserving the 60% of the site that we have as uh, preserved, untouched, undisturbed nature. So a small lot uh, allows you a larger coverage for your home. So instead of a huge backyard um, and huge side yards, your, your side yard and your rear yard setbacks are only 1.2 meters or four feet but outside of your yard it continues right into this natural beauty here. A typical development would scrape the site bare and then reconstruct wetlands and natural features. While the lots might be small the natural space is everywhere. A landscape architect Spencer uses berms, swales and naturally occurring water features to soak up storm water. We're reducing the amount of infrastructure by retaining all the stormwater management on site. They feed the ponds, they contribute, the stormwater contrib contributes to the ongoing viability and health of the ecosystem here. And by not having uh, stormwater uh, sewers, we first of all reduce the cost of the infrastructure, we re reduce the burden on the infrastructure downstream of here and we use the natural environment to absorb runoff from the homes, runoff from the roads, and filter it through the natural systems. The houses are on small lots, and it's actually structured as a condo association, so the natural spaces and community facilities are owned and maintained by everyone. 
One of my favorite parts is seeing the look on people's faces when they come out here. They can't believe that something like this would actually exist in the urban environment and the amount of effort and thought that went into this place and just the quality of life. This is a place for their kids. They can see right away that their kids are going to enjoy living here. They don't have to be supervised all the time. They've got all this beautiful natural environment. They'll spend all their time down here in the summertime by the pond. And the satisfaction of knowing that we're, we've contributed something to the environment. It's a more thoughtful style of development. And while it meant having to jump through a lot of hoops, the end result speaks for itself. One of the Net Zero homes in Echo Haven is owned by Spencer and his partner, Debbie Wiltshire. The house is an absolute gem of a Net Zero home. It's powered by solar electricity, the home is heated using in-ceiling radiant heat panels, and it has a solar hot water system with modules impeccably woven into the exterior design. And the second floor living space is warm and very bright thanks to large windows and passive solar design. One of the coolest features is the rainwater collection system. Well, we, uh, on this house we collect rainwater. So the, uh, the downspouts outside all drain into catch basins that have a first filter and then that water goes into a cistern that's underneath the driveway. From the cistern, this pump uh, pumps the water up for use in the toilets in the house and for outdoor watering. And as Martin Peltier explains, building high quality, energy efficient homes has another big benefit. I'll give you a great example. Um, the power went out. There was 75,000 Kagarians without power last week. We had that snowstorm. It was the most snow we've ever had for this time of year. Power was out from 4 in the morning till noon, approximately here. I was driving to Calgary the, uh, the day after the storm and was listening to people and their stories. And people were calling in and complaining because their house dropped to seven, eight degrees Celsius. Fortunately, it wasn't that cold outside, but their house is still uh, mirrored the change of what happened outside. Our house efficiency dropped one degree from 19 to 18 degrees. It barely had an impact for us with no furnace, no heat, no nothing. And so um, when you're looking at energy efficiency and how well built this house is, um, it was fantastic. And it didn't create any problems for us whatsoever. And the cost of building these types of houses is negligible for the types of benefits that you, you do get. Echo Haven is a green neighborhood pushing the envelope. 12 years in, and it's still a project ahead of its time. There's way more that we couldn't cram into this video. Check out our blog, photos, and podcast at greenenergyfutures.ca. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and tell your friends. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. If you liked this episode, you should watch Net Zero 101, our video on the burgeoning Net Zero home movement. Subscribe today. We produce a new video every two weeks.